It's 8 a.m. Right now, the Badgers celebrating a hard-fought win against Western Michigan. Plus, more campaign 2024 news as both candidates continue to make stops throughout Wisconsin and across the Midwest. And Jacob is here with a first look at your first warm forecast. This is Weekend Mornings. Thanks for joining us today on Weekend Mornings. I'm Maddie Heimsch filling in. Kyle Pazorski is off this weekend. We're going to begin taking a look outside this morning with First Warm Meteorologist Jacob Montesano. He tells me it's going to be a nice quiet weekend. Hey, Jacob. Hey, Maddie. First off, welcome back to the weekend morning shift. And I don't know about you, but right before I uh, went to bed last night, obviously I didn't watch the entire Badgers game considering we had I had this uh, shift this morning, but I noticed the score was 7-7 seven to seven, and they were a 23 and a half point favorite. So I was, uh, I got a little nervous going was... to bed with that, but I'm glad they were able to pull it out. Go Badgers. It was nerve wracking. Yeah, exactly. Let's take a look at the forecast. Right now we are seeing a current temperature of 65 degrees, plenty of sunshine. It's a very nice morning. Temperatures are a little closer to what we normally see during the morning. 50s for a few locations and lower 60s for other places. Temperatures have warmed up a little bit over the last couple of hours. And looking at the current radar, we are completely dry. And if I zoom further out, the nearest rainfall is in southern Illinois, and this is moving due east. So really no rainfall expected to move into our area for the next several days. Now, not only will we not see rainfall today, we will barely see any clouds. Highs will be in the lower 80s. So so it will be a little bit warm, but certainly better than what we saw earlier in the week. That's going to be the case for lacrosse as well. But this may actually be the warmest day going forward. Now, obviously, it's cooler than the last week, but this will be warmer than any day in the forecast next week. At least that's what it looks like right now. I'll have more details on the forecast for next week and for Labor Day coming up a little bit later. Well, I like the warm weather, even though you don't, Jacob. Thank you very much. On to our top stories this morning. The Badgers take home a win over Western Michigan with a score of 28 to 14, marking the third consecutive year they've won the home opener. But yesterday, like Jacob was saying, not a comfortable game for Wisconsin. The team won scoreless in the first quarter and saw a halftime score of just 10 to 7. But the team capitalized on a muff punt in the fourth quarter and reversed the one point deficit they needed to win the game. The Badgers will be back at Camp Randall next Saturday, taking on South Dakota. The Harmony at Grandview Commons apartment Apartments on Madison's east side will be under new management. That's according to a letter residents sent to us Friday night. Horizon Management Services sent communication to residents that they will terminate their ownership effective next Friday. A separate letter was sent to residents from Affiliate Management Services saying they're taking over from Horizon. We've been following the residents of the Harmony as they fought for changes in programming and youth services. That's after 21-year-old Devon Grant and 15-year-old Kaisha Miller were shot and killed months apart from each other last year. And new this morning, Whitewater Police reporting a 21-year-old woman found dead in an apartment just before midnight after suffering multiple gunshot wounds. Also in the apartment, a 23-year-old man. An investigation found that an altercation between the two led to the shooting. The man has been detained by police and the investigation is ongoing. Now on to some campaign 2024 news. In the race for the White House, former President Trump appeared before a woman's group last night trying to reach female voters that polls show heavily lean towards Vice President Kamala Harris. Bradley Blackburn has more on how abortion rights and IVF are influencing the race. Former President Trump took the stage Friday night in front of the conservative group Moms for Liberty, part of a push to win over women voters. When you see some of the things that that they want people to do in these school boards and they become like dictatorships and the parents are screaming. In a surprise this week, Trump said if elected, he'd make IVF treatment free, a move that could cost billions of dollars a year. The government is going to pay for it or we're going to get or mandate your insurance company to pay for it, which is going to be great. Polls show a significant gender gap between Trump and Vice President Kamala Harris. And CBS News polls show she leads among voters who say abortion is a major factor in their vote. Trump has softened his stance on the issue and faced criticism from some in his own party. Backing away from that fundamental principle that the party has championed for 45 years is a big deal. Harris has launched what her campaign calls a reproductive freedom bus tour with more than 50 stops planned before Election Day. And if he wins, Donald Trump will go further. He will sign a national abortion ban. You best believe. Harris was off the trail Friday after giving an interview to CNN with her running mate, Minnesota Governor Tim Walz. Bradley Blackburn, CBS News, New York. 
And campaigning continues this weekend. Governor Walz will attend the Minnesota State Fair Sunday, while former President Trump will appear in an interview on Fox News. On Wall Street Friday, stocks were up. Here's a closer look at Friday's numbers. The Dow Jones gains 228 points, the Nasdaq up 197, and the S&P 500 up 56. Now back to some local news. The Baraboo Police Department looking to hire new officers as a criminal investigation into two of their officers continues. This is after three of the department's agents, Derek Birch, Nick Birch, and Mike Pitchler, were suspected to be connected to a drug bust. Both the Baraboo PD and the Department of Justice opened investigations into the three men. Derek Birch resigned during the investigations. The, Par the Baraboo PD rather found Nick Birch and Pitchler to not have violated criminal law, but the state's criminal investigation is still ongoing. And some more local news, Madison's high schools show off facilities heading into this school year. La Follette, Madison East, Madison West, and Val Phillips Memorial High School bring upgrades to their buildings thanks to a 2020 referendum. Updates include reconfigured spaces to improve accessibility, added welcome centers, remodeled learning spaces, and redone restrooms and locker rooms. But school officials say they are not done yet. Took care of the inside of the building and the outside of the building, now it's time to take care of the staff. To be able to pay staff, teachers, counselors, custodians, whatever, more money uh, and on an appropriate level so that they can perform at the highest level. It's time to reward our staff. MMSD has another referendum on the ballot this November. The district says the goal is to get voters to approve $100 million for operational costs over four years and $500 million for facilities over 23 years to continue invest investing in the district. And taking a look around Wisconsin, Marcus Theaters is set to premiere Star Wars A New Hope in Ojibwe in four theaters across the state. It'll screen at Marcus Cinemas in Ashwaubenon, Rothschild, Sun Prairie, and New Berlin. Star Wars has been translated into more than 50 languages, Ojibwe being the second indigenous people's language included. Time now, it is 8.06. Up next, here's some music from the band Free Dirt. Stay tuned, Morning Notes is next. Right, stay tuned for Morning Notes next. Jalen Banks, News 3 Now at 6 and 10, weekends moving forward. We know the fentanyl coming from Mexico and China is a threat here in Wisconsin. It's why Tammy Baldwin is working to stop it. And Tammy passed the bipartisan Fend Off Fentanyl Act. It takes on the Mexican cartels and the fentanyl coming from China. And Tammy Baldwin voted 32 times to strengthen our border. 32 times to increase border patrols. And technology to keep illegal drugs out. Because Senator Baldwin knows keeping us safe is her first priority. Tell Tammy Baldwin to keep securing our borders. This is you. And you are why we do what we do. Each and every one of you are wonderful, amazing people. So we'll treat you that way on your journey of trusted care. Because the way you, 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 and you feel matters. Unity Point Health Meritor, a partner of UW Health, know how much you matter to this world. Phones were made to help us connect, yet somehow they've made us less connected. Which is ironic, don't you think? We try to put our phones down, but we need to pick them up to see the menu. We can't watch something without also watching something else. Ironic. 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 But look, here's a phone company who wants you to use your phone less. That's ironic. Yeah, but in a good way. Let's find us again with Us Mode. U.S. Cellular. Built for us. Traffic jam. Ugh. And I'm already late. Teens have drama. One more minute. Braces add more drama. Oh, how does anyone do this? Invisalign is better oral hygiene and no drama. Rise, 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 and thrive. No pizza. Block from watching the big match? Save the day by using the Bank of America customized cash rewards card and choose to earn 3% cash back on online purchases, like live streaming. 
Shop Macy's Labor Day sale and save on limited time specials like back to school looks or take an extra 20% off even more great deals. Plus, Star Rewards members can earn faster during Star Money bonus days. Going on now at Macy's. News 3 Now First Warm Weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today. Good morning, everybody. Here's a look at the three things you need to know for the weekend and next week. We're going to be in the 80s today, but next week we're going to see mostly highs in the 70s. And for the most part, we're expecting very dry conditions with not another chance of rainfall until Thursday. So here's a look at the forecast across all of our area for today. Plenty of sunshine highs in the lower 80s for the most part. A few areas may stay in the upper 70s, but pretty much everywhere has pretty much the same forecast. Now, as we go into the overnight hours, we are going to continue to see clear skies. Temperatures will be a little bit milder compared to this morning, but still fairly close to average. Lows are mostly going to be in the lower 60s, a few upper 50s the further north you go. But again, a very similar forecast. And then for tomorrow, we're going to see temperatures about 10 degrees cooler for a few locations. Pretty much everyone will see sunshine again with highs in the lower 70s again. The further north you go, a few areas may actually see high temperatures in the upper 60s. So if you like the more the cooler temperatures, tomorrow will be your day and Labor Day is going to be very similar to tomorrow with plenty of sunshine during the day. Pleasant temperatures really enjoy the weather. If you have any morning plans, you may have to bring a very light jacket or sweater, but beyond that, it's going to be very nice during the afternoon hours. And for the most part, temperatures are going to remain pretty comfortable. They're not going to be extreme in either direction. As I mentioned earlier, today will be the warmest day going forward. Could hit 80 Wednesday and Thursday, but Looking at next weekend, temperatures will be even cooler compared to tomorrow and Labor Day, where we're going to see high temperatures in the lower 70s, maybe even upper 60s for a few locations. Now, as far as rainfall goes, here's a look at the precipitation forecast. Just a few clouds here and there for the from now until the first half of next week. As I mentioned, our next chance of rain won't be until Thursday. We'll see some of that rain in the morning for La Crosse and Eau Claire, a little bit later in the day for southern Wisconsin and and even Thursday, we aren't expecting washout conditions, just a few passing showers, maybe some thunderstorms. But at this point in time, we are not expecting a lot of rainfall and it should clear out by Friday morning. So as we look at the total precipitation over the next seven days, a lot of the area will struggle to even get to a quarter of an inch, maybe a half inch at most, but we are going to remain relatively dry. And although we still can afford a break from the rainfall because of how much we saw in July, because August has been below average and we're going to remain below average going forward, at some point we may start to see some drought conditions form, but we're still uh, pretty far from that happening. Now here's a look at the full 10 day forecast in La Crosse. Overall, it's going to be very nice. Upper 70s, lower 80s for the most part. Upper 60s possibly for next weekend. So. This, this forecast is a sign that fall is kind of around the corner as we're going to see fall like temperatures for next weekend. But if you like the warmer temperatures today will be your day because it's not going to be too uncomfortable, certainly not dangerous and it will be rather warm. So Maddie, my favorite season is fall, so I'm really looking forward to this <laughs> forecast. I have a question. What's your favorite season? I like fall too, but I really ah, like the summer. I, yeah, yeah, yeah. I like the warm weather, which you don't, but you have some plans to take advantage of it this weekend. Yes, I will be going uh, camping. I'm really looking forward to that overnight low Sunday night into Monday where I can wake up and it'll be like 50. I, I, You're I looking know. forward to waking up? I love up? it. I just love, you know, wearing like sweatpants and a sweater and just like having it feel cool, but not too cool. I would honestly say 50s might be my favorite weather. To Sorry. Each, to each their own, <laughs> Jacob. Thank you very much. Rain just started pouring. You are hearing the band Free Dirt from their show at Shanks Block Party. The three-piece rock band from Madison are the organizers of The Dig It, a music festival happening tonight at the Eastside Club. Photojournalist Christopher Hawbaker learns how they got started in this edition of Morning Notes. 
So this band was sort of like the process of me learning a little bit how to play lead guitar in a style that I like, like Crazy Horse kind of thing, or like weirder guitar vibe. Kind of loud rock and roll. We come from like, for less of a like better term, like indie rock background. was asking for this, but like a jam band that punk kids could listen to. I'm Robbie Schiller. I play guitar and sing lead vocals and do the majority of the writing. Well, we're called Free Dirt and we are from Madison, Wisconsin and DeForest, where the trees are. Well, he and I started to play music together in my basement as a duo. I've always been a huge fan of his songwriting. I didn't have a guitar, I didn't have an amp, I had a tuning pedal, and that was it when this band started. So we had played together before, and but I remember at parties and stuff, before we were in a band together, I would have him play songs, and like, oh, play that one, play that one, because I just, his lyrics are enjoyable, and I like the way he writes a melody. started playing with Joe, who was playing bass guitar with us. It was okay, we sounded pretty cool, um, but then the next time we got together, he brought that baritone over. And with a baritone guitar, I was able to be the bass player, as well as being able to kind of grab lead parts because of the extra strings. So it opens up a lot of possibilities. found a sound that was kind of just something different than a standard three-piece with bass, guitar, and drums. Chris Tassman plays the drums, unlike anyone else. I am a drummer, played with tons of amazing drummers, but there's something about the way that he plays. It's like he's wading through jello. When I was a kid, my parents got me a set of Legos that I wanted. It was a bucket of Legos. I took the bucket, I dumped it out in the closet. I flipped it over, and I started playing drums on it. I was like six. I got a, a Smurfs drum kit when I was five years old from my folks, and I would just sit in the basement all day and play along with the radio on this tiny little Smurfs drum kit from Sears. I started playing at church a bunch. Started on bass when I was like 11. Wore that thing out, broke every single head on it. I like cracked all the cymbals, just completely destroyed the thing. Used to be I could take a punch. You best believe I took a punch. Now I'm down here on this hill. Got your tail for Jack and Jill. Well, now that my baby's gone, I can swear more. Ugh, farts! That's why we never could have been just a straight punk band, is because I just love hippy dippy festy vibes, you know? I'm a sucker for it. I mean, can they see the hula hoop guy right now? This is the second show of ours that hula hoop guy's been doing, by the way. We have an album release coming out. This is an exclusive called Funeral on the Beach. And we have another one like we're ready to record. So tonight at the dig in, this is the fourth year of the dig in. It's not entirely selfish because we've done it a bunch of years and we know that other people really like it. So like, it works out for everybody. Thank you, Shanks Corners. Thanks to Bubba for that edition of Morning Notes. Tonight, you can catch four other bands as well as Free Dirt, the headliners of the dig in. The family friendly show is just $10. Now, here's something I'm really excited about. Turns out weekend naps are good for your health. I'm planning on one later today, as is Jacob, I'm sure. Plus new research on how to help people with vaccine hesitancy. Michael George has the week's top health stories. Explaining the possible harms of COVID-19 is the most effective strategy to convince people to get vaccinated. A study published in the Journal of Public Health gave three groups different messages, the harms, the benefits for yourself, and the benefits for others. 72% of people who heard about the potential harms got vaccinated, up to 10% higher than the other two groups. All three groups had higher vaccination rates than a fourth group given no message. Climate change may lead to a rise in foodborne illnesses. That's the finding 
findings of a study published by the American Society for Microbiology. They found that increased humidity is making it easier for the salmonella bacteria to thrive on plants. Salmonella already affects 1.2 million people in the U.S. annually. If you catch up on sleep on the weekends, it turns out you're helping lower your risk of heart disease. A study by the European Society of Cardiology found people who don't get enough sleep during the week but get more sleep on the weekends had a 19% lower chance of heart disease. Ideally, though, doctors say you should get at least seven hours of sleep every night. Those are some of the week's top health stories. Michael George, CBS News. Coming up on Weekend Mornings, we revisit this morning's top headlines. And some new shows and movies to check out this weekend. Will Loper shares his picks in Three Things to Watch when we return. Introducing the new Sushi Lover Madison. All you can eat sushi and hibachi at an amazing price. Now open at West Town Mall for lunch or dinner. Be sure to try Sushi Lover Madison. Now is the best time to buy new Champion windows. Because when you buy two, you get, get two, two free. free. Hurry, Champion's buy two, get two free sale is for a limited time. That's a great deal. Thanks. Call 888-4-CHAMPION or schedule your free in-home estimate online today. Pin Seekers in the Forest, Wisconsin's favorite golf and entertainment facility. The ideal setting for your game day get-together with a sports bar lounge and delicious food and drink specials. And as always, 60 all-weather golf suites with top tracer technology featuring 22 classic courses. The American Family Insurance putting course with 36 holes of fun and challenging mini golf, mini bowling and arcade games, and our 125 plus person event space for any type of party or event. Visit pinseekers.golf for booking information. Pin Seekers in the Forest, what are you seeking? It takes a rebel to make something beautiful. Beauty takes courage. It's an act of joy. So resist the ordinary and embrace the wow at Florin Decor. I will never forget the picture that I have. I'm the only one that's not smiling. Even though I'm with my close friends, I felt alone. I didn't feel pretty. I didn't feel confident. When I got Invisalign, I built my confidence. It was the best investment that I could do. Donald Trump's back, and he's out for control. I would have every right to go after them. Complete control. I will wield that power very aggressively. And he has a plan to get it. Detailed plans for exactly what our movement will do. It's called Project 2025, a 922-page blueprint to make Donald Trump the most powerful president ever, overhauling the Department of Justice, giving Trump the unchecked power to seek vengeance, eliminating the Department of Education, and defunding K-12 through schools, requiring the government to monitor women's pregnancies and severe cuts to Medicare and Social Security. Donald Trump may try to deny it, but those are Donald Trump's plans. Well, revenge does take time, I will say that. And sometimes revenge can be justified. He'll take control, we'll pay the price. I'm Kamala Harris, and I approve this message. I have prepared a Thomas's breakfast for you to savor together. Thanks, Tom. Hey, are English muffins from England? Heavens, no. They're from the pantry. Are you from England? Nay, I am also from the pantry. Huzzah! A toast to breakfast. Introducing the new Sushi Lover Madison. All you can eat sushi and hibachi at an amazing price. Now open at West Town Mall for lunch or dinner. Be sure to try Sushi Lover Madison. Let's take a moment and check out some weather photos that were sent to us. This first photo was sent in by Tara from Rock County showing a very nice rainbow. So thank you, Tara. If you want to submit your own weather photo, you can with that QR code in the top left of the screen. I'll keep it on screen for a moment as we look at another photo that was sent to us. This one was sent in by Phil from Lake Marquette showing a very nice sunset. Although you can't actually see the sun, but you can see that the sun is setting uh, right around Lake Marquette. So thank you, Phil, for submitting your photo. If you can, uh, scan that QR code right now. There is another way to submit your photos. You can go to our website, channel3000.com, click on the weather tab, scroll down past the 10-day forecast until you see post your own and then give us your name and location. It is as simple as that. And we may feature the weather photo you sent in. So I do want to thank everyone who has submitted weather photos. You folks have been awesome. Keep up the great work.
Thank you, Jacob. On to some national news. One of the two doctors charged in actor Matthew Perry's death was in a Los Angeles federal court Friday. Dr. Mark Chavez is charged with conspiring to distribute ketamine to Perry. Chavez has made a plea deal with prosecutors where he agreed to surrender his medical license and not practice medicine for the foreseeable future. He's expected to be back in court in late October to formalize that plea agreement. Well, no shortage of films and shows streaming, our Will Loper shares a few of the best in this weekend's Three Things to Watch. War's come to Middle Earth. Return to Middle Earth with a second season of The Rings of Power, newly streaming on Amazon Prime Video. Our armies cannot defeat him. Once the deceiver obtains a being's trust, he gains the ability to sculpt their very thoughts. The show, based on Tolkien's fantasy world, continues the story of elves, dwarves, and Sauron. Sauron is my enemy as much as yours. I can help you destroy him. I will not stop until this is right. The first three episodes of The Rings of Power are streaming on Amazon Prime Video now. Streaming on Max is the 2024 film The Watcher. You have five seconds before the door is sealed. Ishana Knight Shyamalan, daughter of M. Knight, writes and directs the film about a pet shop worker, Lucy, played by Dakota Fanning, who gets lost in a forest and finds there might be some creatures within. What is happening? What is this place? I don't mean to scare you, but we haven't much time. It's not wise to keep them waiting. They'll be very interested in someone new. The Watchers is streaming on Max now. What is that? What are they doing? Applause. Well, you mean it. I need to stop Judgment Day. And newly streaming on Netflix is the series Terminator Zero. The end of the world comes tomorrow. The animated series follows a soldier sent back in time to protect a scientist who's launching an AI system to compete with Skynet. Things will get worse. Before they get better. All eight episodes of Terminator Zero are streaming on Netflix now. Those are the three things you need to watch, and this is Will Loper for Weekend Mornings. Coming up next, a look at our top morning headlines. Stick with us. This is Weekend Mornings. Looking to buy or sell? Call Tommy Vanessa Realty, First Weber's number one team dedicated to making your real estate dreams a reality. At Tommy Van S Realty, we understand that buying or selling a home is more than just a transaction. It's about finding the perfect match for your lifestyle. Trust Tommy Van S Realty for all of your real estate needs. Why settle for less? Call Tommy Van S. Doorbusters, like this gorgeous new sofa for just $3.97. The Labor Day Doorbuster deals Friday through Monday at Slumberland Furniture. Up to 60% off list. Get this comfy new sectional for just $9.97 and get the ottoman free. A free recliner with this reclining sofa for just $6.97. This medium firm queen mattress for just $2.88. Deals this hot are while they last only, so come early. Friday through Monday, the Labor Day Doorbuster deals only at Slumberland Furniture. Building up the middle class will be a defining goal of my presidency. She'll do it with new ideas to make middle class life more affordable. New caps on the price of medicine. New investments in clean energy to bring down costs for families. And while Trump will cut taxes for the super rich, she'll cut taxes for the rest of us. A stronger middle class. A future we can afford. EDF Action Votes and FF Pack are responsible for the content of this advertising. It's only paint. 
It's only paint that comes in an award-winning twist and pour container. It's only paint that can cover the brightest shade of orange known to mankind in just one coat. It's only paint that will inspire you to write your masterpiece. It's only paint that will help you become TV's hottest writer, where one day you'll meet this guy who starred in that thing. So yeah, it's only paint. Only easy opening, smooth pouring, change your life, both professionally and romantically, paint. These were my great grandpappy's glasses. And now they're yours, son. Why can't I just get my own? What? No, these have at least a few hundred years left in them. I think the kid needs his own. Get two pairs of glasses and a free eye exam for $79, all same day. Yeah, I want my own. Stanton Optical, Yeezy's our thing. Maya knows how quality care can bring out a smile. But it's been a few dog years since she was able to enjoy a smile of her own. Good thing Aspen Dental offers affordable, complete care all in one place. With flexible hours and weekend appointments. Plus 20% off treatment plans for everyone. Loving our patients unconditionally. It's one more way Aspen Dental is in your corner. Come and get your love. Right now at 8.30, the Badgers celebrating a hard-fought win against Western Michigan. Plus, more campaign 2024 news as both candidates continue to make stops throughout Wisconsin and across the Midwest. And Jacob is here with your weekend forecast. This is Weekend Mornings. Good morning and thanks for joining us today. I'm Maddie Heimsch filling in for Kyle Pizorski. We're going to send it right over to meteorologist Jacob Montesano with a look at your Saturday forecast. Hey, Jacob. Hey, Maddie. Temperatures right now are very comfortable. 60s and upper 50s across the area. So, you know, obviously a little chilly, but pretty close to what we normally see during the morning this time of the year. However, despite them being, you know, pretty close to average, they actually are quite a bit cooler compared to this time yesterday. Now, earlier in the morning we saw temperatures nearly 15 degrees cooler right now we're only maxing out at around 10 degrees cooler but still it really goes to show you just how warm we've been this week but the next week we are going to be a lot cooler compared compared to earlier i wouldn't say we're going to be cool but much more comfortable now looking at the current radar the nearest rainfall is in southern illinois in southern wisconsin really all of wisconsin we aren't seeing much of it and we're not going to see much of it today probably won't see anything at all we may not even see clouds today as high temperatures will be in the lower 80s so it will be a little bit warm but certainly more comfortable than what it has been and that's gonna be the case for lacrosse as well lower 80s pretty much complete sunshine winds not too much of a factor only maxing out around 10 miles per hour but we are going to see temperatures a little bit more comfortable for next week i'll talk more in detail about that coming up a bit later loving this forecast jacob thank you on to our top stories this morning the badgers take home a win over western michigan with a score of 28 to 14 marking the third consecutive year they've won the home opener but yesterday not a comfortable game for wisconsin the team went scoreless in the first quarter and saw a halftime score of just 10 to 7 but they capitalized on a muff punt in the fourth quarter and reversed the one point deficit they needed to win the game the badgers will be back at camp randall next saturday taking on south dakota the Harmony at Grandview Commons Apartments on Madison's east side will be under new management. According to a letter residents there sent to us Friday night, Horizon Management Services sent communications to residents that they will terminate their ownership effective next Friday. A separate letter was sent to residents from Affiliate Management Services saying they're taking over from Horizon. We've been following residents of the Harmony as they fought for changes in programming and youth services after 21-year-old Devon Grant and 15-year-old Kaisha Miller were shot and killed just months apart last year. And new this morning, Whitewater Police reporting a 21-year-old woman found dead in an apartment just before midnight after suffering multiple gunshot wounds. Also in the apartment when police arrived, a 23-year-old man, an investigation found that an altercation between the two led to the shooting. The man has been detained by the police and the investigation is ongoing. And to campaign 2024 news in the race for the White House, former President Trump appeared before a woman's group last night, trying to reach female voters that polls show heavily lean towards Vice President Kamala Harris. Bradley Blackburn has more on how abortion rights and IVF are influencing this race. 
Former President Trump took the stage Friday night in front of the conservative group Moms for Liberty, part of a push to win over women voters. When you see some of the things that that they want people to do in these school boards and they become like dictatorships, and the parents are screaming. In a surprise this week, Trump said if elected, he'd make IVF treatment free, a move that could cost billions of dollars a year. The government is going to pay for it, or we're going to get or mandate your insurance company to pay for it, which is going to be great. Polls show a significant gender gap between Trump and Vice President Kamala Harris. And CBS News polls show she leads among voters who say abortion is a major factor in their vote. Trump has softened his stance on the issue and faced criticism from some in his own party. Backing away from that fundamental principle that the party has championed for 45 years is a big deal. Harris has launched what her campaign calls a reproductive freedom bus tour with more than 50 stops planned before Election Day. And if he wins, Donald Trump will go further. He will sign a national abortion ban. You best believe. Harris was off the trail Friday after giving an interview to CNN with her running mate, Minnesota Governor Tim Walz. Bradley Blackburn, CBS News, New York. And campaigning continues this weekend. Governor Walls will attend the Minnesota State Fair on Sunday, while former President Trump will appear in an interview on Fox News. And on to some local news, the Baraboo Police Department looking to hire new officers as a criminal investigation into two of their officers continues. This is after three of the department's agents, Derek Birch, Nick Birch, and Mike Pitchler, were suspected to be connected to a drug bust. Both the Baraboo PD and the Department of Justice opened investigations into the three men. Derek Birch resigned during the investigations. The Baraboo PD found Nick Birch and Pitchler to not have violated criminal law, but the state's investigation is still ongoing. And some more local news, Madison's high schools showing off new facilities as they head into this school year. La Follette, Madison East, Madison West, and Bell Phillips Memorial High School bring upgrades to their buildings thanks to a 2020 referendum. Upgrades include reconfigured spaces to improve accessibility and ADA compliance, added welcome centers, remodeled learning spaces, and redone restrooms and locker rooms. But school officials say they're not done yet. Took care of the inside of the building and the outside of the building. Now it's time to take care of the staff. To be able to pay staff, teachers, counselors, custodians, whatever, more money uh, and on an appropriate level so that they can perform at the highest level. It's time to reward our staff. MMSD has another referendum on the ballot this November. The district says the goal is to get voters to approve $100 million for operational costs over four years and $500 million for facilities over 23 years to continue investing in the district. And taking a look around Wisconsin, Marcus Theaters is set to premiere Star Wars A New Hope in Ojibwe in four theaters across the state this weekend. It'll screen at Marcus Cinemas in Ashwaubenon, Rothschild, Sun Prairie, and New Berlin. Berlin. Star Wars has been translated into more than 50 languages, Ojibwe being the second indigenous people's language. Still ahead, your Saturday morning golf tips. Stay with us. Mark, a little help here? Oh, keep it down. The noise is making them angry. Whoa. Hey, I'm not a beekeeper, but I can replace these windows fast. Let Feldco be the experts in your home renewal. Right now, buy one window and you'll get one free. Plus, no interest until 2026. And we'll get it done Feldco fast. Buy one, get one free ends Labor Day. Hurry. Call now. Call 866 for Feldco. Rise, 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 and thrive. Energy is like a symphony. Every note, every chord, every instrument creates an incredible melody of power and possibility. But that energy needs to be reliable to have the same power and affordable to keep the melody. At home, on the road, on farms and fleets, and even ports, propane and renewable propane lower carbon emissions while harnessing the full symphony of energy. Learn more about safe, clean, reliable propane at propane.com. It takes a rebel to make something beautiful. Beauty takes courage. 
It's an act of joy. So resist the ordinary and embrace the wow at Florin Decor. Why always the couch? Does he need to go to puppy school? Get his little puppy diploma. How much have I been spending on this little guy? When your questions about life turn into questions about money, there's Erica, the virtual financial assistant to help you spend, save, and plan smarter. Only from Bank of America. What would you like the power to do? I was a Kamala Harris supporter. That changed after an illegal alien murdered my son. Running him over, then driving back and forth over Drew's body three times. The man who killed my son had been arrested previously, but Kamala Harris let him go. As San Francisco's DA, Kamala was soft on crime. As a senator, she supported releasing criminal aliens back into our neighborhoods. Kamala Harris is dangerous. Preserve America PAC is responsible for the content of this advertising. Three for the people. We should all be able to control our own reproductive lives. I'm tackling the topic of women's reproductive rights and letting you know exactly where the candidates stand on this pivotal issue to help you cast an informed vote on Election Day, Tuesday at 6. News 3 Now is focusing on the issues and the races that matter where you live with three for the people. Talking with local candidates, looking at both sides of the issues, and fact-checking it all so you can cast your vote with confidence. Three for the people, only on News 3 Now. With Labor Day coming up, let's take a look at the most recent Labor Days in terms of the temperatures. If you remember, last year was a very hot Labor Day. Highs were in the 90s. The day before, the high temperature in Madison actually reached 95 degrees. And if we take a look at the more recent Labor Days previous to last year, they were much more closer to average, mostly in the 70s, a little bit warmer back in 2019. But for the most part, we've been fairly dry, and the dry weather is going to continue for the most part. Now, here's a look at the records for Labor Day. 95 was the warmest, 40 degrees was the coldest, and the wettest was over two inches. We're not going to be anywhere close to either of those or any of those, uh, really. And because here's a look at the Labor Day forecast, sunny each day. And for Labor Day itself, high temperatures will be in the middle 70s. There's really a, a, just about a 0% chance of rainfall and temperatures are going to be very comfortable. So enjoy the weather. I'll have more on the forecast, though, still to come. Thank you, Jacob. And like Jacob says, the weather will be nice for the official end of summer. But the American Red Cross wants you to keep some other things in mind when having your Labor Day fun. When you're traveling on the roads, make sure to pack a to-go bag in your vehicle, flashlights, batteries, chargers. And when you get to your destination and want to fire up the grill, make sure you keep it supervised and away from children and pets. And of course, as always, make sure you handle your food safely. Well, if you're looking to better your golf game, the George Vitense Golf Academy is providing tips to help you lower your score. Here's Joel White showing us how to chip consistently to get the ball on the green. Today I'm reviewing the fundamentals of chipping. Take a wedge out of your bag. That can be anywhere from a pitching wedge up to a lob wedge. As far as your setup, move your feet close together. You can place that ball about in the middle of this little stance. Rotate your hips to the target just a little bit, while at the same time ensuring that you're keeping your shoulder line parallel to the target line. Regarding your weight, and your balance here, you want to lean more on your front leg, the leading leg, and stay there during the stroke. The stroke itself, you're feeling the arms, hands, and shoulders work together smoothly, not getting wristy, no hinging. Just feel this nice, smooth stroke back and through. I'm Joel White. PGA professional, improve your play the fundamental way. Well, still ahead, your morning sports, and you are now taking a live look outside. Jacob has another check of the forecast next on Weekend Mornings. Sponsored by Three Bears Resort, Indoor Water Park and Conference Center in Warrens, Wisconsin. 
I will never forget the picture that I have. I'm the only one that's not smiling. Even though I'm with my close friends, I felt alone. I didn't feel pretty, I didn't feel confident. When I got Invisalign, I built my confidence. It was the best investment that I could do. Sometimes it takes a different approach to see the difference you can make around you. With Capella University's game-changing FlexPath format, set your own deadlines and access coursework anytime. Imagine your future differently with Capella University. I have type 2 diabetes, but I manage it well. It's a little pill with a big story to tell. I take one's daily Jardians. At each day's start, as time went on, it was easy to see. I'm lowering my A1C. Jardians works 24-7 in your body to flush out some sugar. And for adults with type 2 diabetes and known heart disease, Jardians can lower the risk of cardiovascular death, too. Serious side effects may include ketoacidosis that may be fatal, dehydration that can lead to sudden worsening of kidney function, and genital yeast or urinary tract infections. A rare life-threatening bacterial infection in the skin of the perineum could occur. Stop Jardians and call your doctor right away if you have symptoms of this infection, ketoacidosis, or an allergic reaction. You may have increased risk for lower limb loss. Call your doctor right away if you have symptoms of infection in your legs or feet. Taking Jardians with a sulfonylurea or insulin may cause low blood sugar. Jardians is really swell. Drive into summer with a new Honda Accord Hybrid, CRV Hybrid, or the all-new Civic Hybrid. Take a vacation, staycation, or just a weekend drive with the windows down. Whatever you do, make it epic with Honda. The 2024 Kelly Blue Book's KBB.com Best Overall EV and Hybrid Brand. So act now. Buy online, reserve from select dealers, or hurry into the Honda Summer Event. Shop Macy's Labor Day sale and save on limited time specials like back to school looks or take an extra 20% off even more great deals. Plus, Star Rewards members can earn faster during Star Money bonus days. Going on now at Macy's. News 3 Now First Warm Weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today. Good morning, everybody. Here's one final look at the three things you need to know for the weekend. We're going to be in the 80s today, but next week we are going to see temperatures in the 70s, so a little bit more comfortable. We also are going to be very dry with our next chance of rain not coming until Thursday. So here's a look at the Labor Day weekend forecast. Complete sunshine really is in the forecast each day. 80s today, 70s Sunday and Monday. Really just enjoy the weather because it is going to be just about perfect. And we're going to continue to see very comfortable temperatures even beyond the next three days. We'll possibly be near 80 for Wednesday and Thursday, but 70s for the rest of the forecast after today. Next weekend, we actually will see temperatures possibly in the lower 70s with a few locations, maybe even seeing highs in the upper 60s. Now looking a little bit beyond the 10 day temperature forecast, here's the 8 to 14 day temperature outlook. It looks like we'll start to see those temperatures warm up a little bit uh, towards the middle of the month. If this does, if this trend continues and these warm temperatures push east, we may be seeing high temperatures back in the 80s. Again, this is kind of towards the middle of the month, but for the next 10 days, we're not going to see anything too warm at all. Now, as far as rainfall goes, we're really not going to see much of that either. We're going to be almost completely dry through the day on Wednesday. Thursday and Thursday night, we do have a chance of rain, but at this point in time, we aren't expecting anything dramatic. We're certainly not going to see washout conditions, just a few passing showers and storms. And beyond that, we're not going to see much rain either. So. Excuse me. As we look at the 8 to 14 day precipitation outlook, we're going to continue to see very dry conditions and this goes this is past uh, the Thursday rainfall 
And although we've had a lot of rainfall this summer, August has been below average. So if this trend continues, we may start to see some drought conditions begin to form across Wisconsin. The far northern portion of the state has uh, recently been upgraded to abnormally dry, which is not technically a drought, but still worth pointing out. And if this trend continues, we may start to see that here in southern Wisconsin, but we still could afford a little bit of a little bit of a break considering just how much rainfall we saw in the month of July. Now for the next 10 days, it's going to be kind of hard to complain about the lack of rain when the conditions are this nice. Plenty of sunshine, highs in the upper 70s to lower 80s. Again, Thursday is really the only chance of rainfall. Next weekend, it is going to be even cooler compared to tomorrow and Labor Day, where highs will be around 70, maybe even upper 60s. And as we look at Madison's forecast, that's going to be very similar. So overall, very dry conditions, very nice conditions, and you know, we're not really seeing anything too dramatic in the 10 day forecast. Nothing extremely above average, nothing extremely below average, and the chance of rain Thursday will be pretty minor. So for the most part, we're going to continue to be very quiet. We haven't seen a ton of rainfall over the last month, and outside of that, uh, those two days where the heat index values were over 100 earlier in this week, we really haven't seen anything too dramatic, and that's going to continue going forward. Hard to complain about that, Jacob. Thank you very much. Here are your morning sports. Welcome back to another week of the final drive, our weekly sports show where we bring you the biggest and the best from our area's high school football. We start here after a dominant week one win. Verona moved up to the seventh ranked team in the state, but this Wildcat team, they've got their eyes set on bigger things. After their quarterfinal exit last year, they say this year they want to go all the way. But to do that, you've got to get through teams like Kenosha St. Joseph. And they started off hot tonight. As we roll through the highlights, Caleb Hallmark had a huge storybook effect on this game with his pass to Aiden Chapman that led to a Verona Wildcats score. It was a really a good game for Verona. Next thing that happens, they kick the ball off, and all of a sudden, here we are. We've got the highlights. Why don't we just run through them as we would have originally. Caleb Hallmark slinging one over to the side. A beautiful touchdown pass, a quick one to Aiden Chapman. And then check this out. Verona goes to kick it off, and you're thinking, why are we showing you a kickoff? Well, the reason is, is because Canosa St. Joseph, they bring it back. We've got a fumble on our hands, and Jawan Jackson from Verona scoops it up, setting up yet another scoring opportunity. This time, it's Hallmark passing a beautiful ball to his man, Jackson Connor, for six. Last check, Verona up 32 to nothing. Elsewhere in our area, the Badger Large trumps the Big 8 as Janesville Craig falls in a sour one. 10-7, to seven, the final Milton comes out on top. Over to Wanakee, where one of the state's powerhouses hosted Vell Phillips Memorial tonight, and the Spartans, they came to play. Vell Phillips came out strong, opening a 14-0 lead in the first. But you knew Wanakee wasn't going to go away without a fight. Later in the first quarter, Eli Drangsvit off to the races to make it a one-touchdown game. But these Spartans, I'm telling you, they are different this year. The kickoff, very next play, they're different because of this guy. Marion Moore, anytime he's on your team, I like your chances. Breaks a few tackles, and there he goes. He's got reservations for six. Chucks the deuce up. What more do you need to see? How about Vel Millips? Phillips, I should say, pulling off the true upset of the year so far, beating Wanakee. 49 to 34. Elsewhere in our area, this was a fun matchup. Both Monroe and Mount Horeb were one seeds in Division Three last year, but MHB is not to be beat. Mount Horeb wins it big, 39 to seven. Meanwhile, in Division Five, Columbus hosted a top five matchup last year. Aquinas knocked the Cardinals out of the postseason. This year, Columbus returns the favor, winning a huge one, 20 to 16. And in their first season without Mason Lane, off to a really smooth start for the Lodi Blue Devils. A 2-0 start at that with their win over McFarland. Meanwhile, in Division 6, not exactly what we expected to happen here. Prairie to Sheen defeating Darlington handily. The final score, 35-7. But trust me, folks, those Redbirds, they will return to form. 
Coming up next, one rapper has his eyes set on Los Angeles 2028 as a torchbearer. We have the story. And here's a look at what's coming up on CBS Saturday mornings. It's the four-day Super Labor Day sale at Denver Mattress. Right now, the more you buy, the more you save. Save 100 bucks on every thousand you spend. Check out the Summit for only $299.99. Or save up to $1,000 on purple adjustable mattress sets. Take up to $100 off our Doctor's Choice original lineup and up to $200 off our Doctor's Choice hybrid lineup. Or get 60 months no interest and free shipping right to your doorstep. Hurry, the four-day Super Labor Day sale ends Monday. Sometimes Jonah wrestles with falling asleep, so he takes z the world's number one sleep aid brand, and wakes up feeling like himself. Get the rest to be your best with non-habit-forming z -Quil. Better days start with z nights. Vicks VapoStick provides soothing, non-medicated Vicks Vapors. Easy to apply for the whole family. Vicks VapoStick. And try new Vapo Shower Max for steamy Vicks Vapors. Block from watching the big match. Save the day by using the Bank of America customized cash rewards card and choose to earn 3% cash back on online purchases, like live streaming. Teens have drama. One more minute. Braces add more drama. Oh, how does anyone do this? Invisalign is better oral hygiene and no drama. I'm Donald J. Trump, and I approve this message. Everyday prices are too high. Food, rent, gas, back to school clothes. That is called Bidenomics. A loaf of bread costs 50% more today. Ground beef is up almost 50%. There's not much left at the end of the month. Bidenomics is working. The price of housing has gone up. It feels so hard to just be able to get ahead. And we are very proud of Bidenomics. Pin Seekers in the Forest, Wisconsin's favorite golf and entertainment facility. The ideal setting for your game day get-together with a sports bar lounge and delicious food and drink specials. And as always, 60 all-weather golf suites with top tracer technology featuring 22 classic courses. The American Family Insurance putting course with 36 holes of fun and challenging mini golf, mini bowling and arcade games, and our 125 plus person event space for any type of party or event. Visit pinseekers.golf for booking information. Pin Seekers in the Forest, what are you seeking? Mission Unstoppable, Saturday morning at 9. Well, finally this morning, here's a fun one. Flavor Flav wants to be a torchbearer at the Olympic Games. During a podcast interview, the rapper said he had so much fun at the 2024 Paris Olympics that he applied to be a U.S. torchbearer at the 2028 Los Angeles Games. Flavor Flav also commented that Snoop Dogg did a, quote, fantastic job as a torchbearer in Paris and said if Snoop can do it, he can do it too. The 65-year-old hip-hop legend, worn from wearing oversized clocks around his neck, helped to sponsor the U.S. women's water polo team in Paris. Now here's meteorologist Jacob Montesano with one final check of your Saturday forecast. Thanks, Maddie. It's going to be pretty quiet going forward. This weekend is going to be just about perfect. If you like the warmer temperatures, today will be perfect. Certainly uh, not uncomfortable, but still a little warm. Highs will be in the lower 80s, 70s for Sunday and Monday. And then we are going to see temperatures warm up a little bit after that, near 80 for Wednesday and Thursday. And then we're going to see them drop after the chance of rain on Thursday. Next weekend, we could be talking about highs in the upper 60s for a few locations. And that chance of rain on Thursday will be very minor. We're not expecting washout conditions, just a few passing showers and storms, especially during the afternoon for southern Wisconsin. A little bit earlier, if you're tuning in from La Crosse and Eau Claire, you will see storms kind of in the late morning to afternoon, but still not expecting a lot of rainfall. So beyond that chance of rain, we are looking very dry going forward because even the extended forecast suggests dry conditions and temperatures don't look to be extreme even beyond the extended forecast as well. And we are getting to the time of year where fall like temperatures will become more common. Jacob, thank you. And thanks for joining us this Saturday on weekend mornings. Have a great day.